Well, welcome to uh, melbournefc.com.au. We're talking with uh, Jeremy Howe. And Jeremy, you've uh, made the trek from the Apple Isle. Uh, it's been a whirlwind ride for you in the last few days. Uh, can you just tell us about uh, your past few days? Yeah, no, it's been uh, pretty full on for the last few days. And um, yeah, since since Thursday night, yeah, my head's been spinning pretty flat out. And I was uh, those next three days went pretty quick. And then next thing you know, I was moved over here on Monday. And uh, yeah, so... But just what can't wait to get into it. Yeah. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. You, you're a Sparky from back home. You're tw- 20 year old, so a slightly mature yeah. um, recruit. Um, just a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I've uh, I, uh, finished all my exams and stuff in grade 10, and went straight into uh, straight into an electrical apprenticeship, and uh, yeah, got that underway straight away, so I could try try get it signed off as quick as possible, and uh, yeah, should be signed off within a month. So, really looking forward to getting that out of the way as well. Yeah. So. Now, I believe uh, that might have actually been a, a lure for, for getting drafted. I, I know the coach was pretty excited when he heard you're an electrician. You might be able to just help around the home. Has he, has he sort of asked for a few jobs? Yeah, no, he said he's, uh, he's um, yeah, if he picked me up, he said he's got a couple of jobs around the house that he wouldn't mind me having a look at. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah so no, I don't know. I'll wait around and see, wait for the phone call and see what he wants to do, I suppose. <laughs> now, you're an interesting story in the fact that uh, you you've got a little bit of attention because of uh, some of your clips on YouTube and things like that, some of the hangers and yeah. marks you've taken, you've been likened to another uh, former demon, Russell Roberts, in the, in the hang time stakes. Yeah. Uh, just tell us about y- your aerial uh, ability. Uh, yeah, no, I've, um, yeah, I was pretty well known for yeah, being able to jump pretty good and in the vertical jump and that had, um, in the screening stuff, yeah, went pretty well. And Yeah, I think that's just one thing that I've always, yeah, I've always been able to jump pretty good and, and marking was a one of my strong points and yeah, I put the two of them together this year and it worked out pretty well so you know, that was good. Yeah, um, this year for yourself what, what what do you think made the difference? It, was it the fact that you are able to go to Hobart and just you know play at a higher standard that, that actually helped you get elevated to this uh, level now? Yeah I think so, um, making the move at the start of you know, moving in and playing at Hobart this year made a lot of difference up in the ante and the standard and stuff like that and um, the skills were a lot better and I think that made me, yeah, a better player, like playing in that higher standard. And as the year went on, I progressed and got better and better, and yeah, fitted in real well to, um, with all the boys there, and it made it a lot easier. And yeah, played a played a pretty good season. So yeah, yeah and I was really happy with how it went, and yeah, it was good. Just take us a step back. You're from a place called Dodgers Ferry, yeah. and you'd played a bit of local footy before coming up to Hobart so we sort of we aspirations to to play at the highest level or were you sort of really concentrating on your apprenticeship um I was I was pretty yeah pretty um solid like I wanted to get my apprenticeship out of the way kind of thing and playing it played a under under 17s for two years down at Dodgers and then played two years in the seniors as well and um yeah I was yeah, I was pretty keen to get my job out of the way and playing Mariners as an overage at 19, and I broke my leg that year as well. So I was kind of, I was kind of thinking, oh, well, maybe, maybe my chance is gone. And then, so I made the move to Hobart for this year and see what, seeing what could have happened. And yeah, so the, the best possibility come out of it. And so here I am now. So I was really, really happy with it. So, so this time, uh, 12 months ago, you probably weren't even thinking of AFL, and here you are today. No, I definitely didn't think I was going to be uh, where I am now. So no, it's really excited and. Um, yeah, stoked to be here. And what about footy in Tassie? Uh, who did you follow, and um, some of the players that you looked up to? As in, yeah, well, I've always been, I've always followed Collingwood as a youngster, and um, yeah, because my old man and they're all Collingwood mad. So, but I think that's all about to change now. And uh, yeah, no, I've, I've looked up to, um, I've always looked up to Nathan Buckley. I suppose like he's always, he was always my idol as a kid. And um, yeah, just watched as many games as I could as a kid and playing footy and all through my career and stuff, yeah, no, it's something I've always wanted to do and keep doing now, so. You would have played in a few uh, wet days, no doubt, in Tassie. Uh, what were some of the most uh, sort of chilling experiences uh, playing down there? Yeah, definitely um, when back at Dodgers, we used to play down at a place in the Channel and it's at Snug and it's right next to the beach and it just used to, yeah, pour with rain and get flooded, flooded ground, but yeah, they don't close the ground down there, so you keep playing and... It's pretty hard, pretty hard to get motivated and uh, enjoy it, but uh, yeah, you get days like that, and um, yeah, you get a few, few sunny, sad days in Tassie, but yeah, yeah pretty rare. Yeah. So. Mm. And just quickly moving to Melbourne, what, what's that like for you? I mean, it's a bit of, bit of a change for you. Yeah, no, it's definitely different. Um, moving away from the family and friends and stuff, 
Uh, I've only got one family member over here at the moment, and yeah, but I'm uh, pretty pretty keen on the move and uh, getting around all the boys and making new friends and stuff and fitting in well. So yeah, looking forward to it. Very good. All right, Jeremy. Well, uh, thanks very much for chatting to us, and uh, all the best for next year. Uh,